Hello, I'm Tim Morris from Cincinnati State. We're going to talk about the Gearhorn circuit off for the general uh, A&P written. This is figure 19. This is very similar to figure 18. Uh, the only thing is they move the control valve a little bit and they change by putting a test circuit in. Quick overview on this, 28 volt DC off the bus comes in to the whole circuit. On the right you have the gear warning horn and below it you have throttle switches. This, this is an important part of the schematic. If either one of these throttle switches is closed, current can go through uh, the circuit from wire 11 through the switches to wire 12. Either one or both. Uh, doesn't matter. You have a right gear switch and a left gear switch. The nomenclature is kind of backwards if you ask me. The right gear switch, if it is, if the if it is flipped to the left, that means it's the gear is down. Uh, the left gear is down if it's flipped to the left. Uh, note uh, there under the left gear switch. The right gear switch is the opposite. If it's flipped to the right, that means the gear down. Or is it, if the gear is down, the switch will go to the right. Okay, so just be heads up. They're backwards from each other is what I'm saying. You have a red light and a green light. You can pretty much ignore these for this test qu these test questions, but they do provide power through this circuit. The little diamond-shaped or triangle-shaped things are momentary contacts, and there's a momentary contact to actuate this test circuit. Don't worry about the test circuit. It's not an issue in these questions. The first question we're going to look at says, refer to figure 19. Under which condition will a ground be provided for the warning horn through both gear switches? when the throttles are closed. So looking at our warning horn, it is already getting 28 volts DC down through wire 10. So, so there's power to the horn. Now the other side of the horn is seeking a ground. If we go down wire 11 and the question said throttle switches are closed, we close the switch, we can go through this to wire 12. We've got a couple different ways, three different ways we can go uh, at this juncture. Uh, if we go up to, it says with with both gear, no, it's, it says through both gear switches. It doesn't say both gear switches are down. It says it's got to go through both gear switches. So uh, if we go up, it didn't say anything about the control valve, so that means it's going to be in a, the condition as shown. So we go up to wire 13. That's a dead end. So that So now I can either go uh, through the left gear switch, and they said in what condition through the left gear switch and the right gear switch going this path or I can go down wire 6 and go through if the right gear switch flips over it'll seek a ground there but right there it can't be 6 because the question said it's got to go through both gear switches so now we go back to our original path and our original path is if the left gear switch is flipped the other way which means the gear is up left gear is up. If it is flipped the other way, I can go through the left gear switch and then I can go through the right gear switch and find a ground. The answer to the question is left gear up, right gear down and that is in our question shown as A. Let's look at the next question. When the throttles are retarded with only the right gear down, the warning horn will not sound if an open occurs in what wire? Uh, they give us wire 5, wire 13, or wire 6. So, once again, power is already provided to the warning horn. If we go through elet wire 11 and through the switches, it takes us to wire 12. Now, here's where it always gets good. Uh, it says our answers are wire 5, wire 6, and wire 13. Well, let's look at wire 13. We said before that that's a dead end unless you change that control valve switch so 13 is a dead end so it's not 13 so that leaves us either wire 5 or wire 6 and it said throttles retard with right gear down with only the right gear down so if the right gear is down uh, it's flipped over here to the right and that means the only path to ground will be through wire 5, which means the left gear switch will have to be up. This is very similar to the last question that we had. Okay, one more question. It wouldn't be any good if they didn't mix it up for us. With the landing gears up and the throttles retarded, 
the warning horn will not, will not sound if an open occurs in what wire? In wire 5, 7, or 6. Okay, so same thing. Got power to the warning horn, seeking a ground through 11, through the throttle switches, down to 12. Now they're saying the gear switch is up. So the left gear switch is to the right, and the right gear switch is over to the left. Remember what I told you? Okay, so the gear is up. Well, in this case, if we go down the normal route that we used to go, and we go down through the left gear switch number five, that is now a dead end. So we have to go down through wire six, and the right gear switch will seek a ground. So the answer is number six. Thanks for watching.